push start. Okay, if you're on Canvas, it's gonna be assignment number 15. Jared, put your phone up. Hannah, put your phone up. Um, okay, so we're gonna start um, with a section and it's about classifying angle pairs. So I know the PowerPoint doesn't like look so great. It just didn't come out very great. Okay, but I get an A for effort because I worked super hard on it. So that's the. Well, because I have to like go online and take snippets of the book and then post the pictures on the thing because there's no other way for me to. And I don't know how the other drama teachers do it. And I don't teach geometry, so I don't have anything. Okay, so. Um, we have this picture here, and mine definitely shows it a little bit better just because it's in color. So, a transversal is a line that intersects two or more coplanar lines at distinct points. Okay, now, that sounds very complicated. So, what it's saying is if you have two lines, the line that cuts through both of those lines is called a transversal. Okay? So, just like um, we have two rows of desks, right? They go, if I take a line and I put it through the rows of desks, the line that's going to go through both of those other lines is called the transversal. Okay? Um, and then one other thing to note, you're going to have to know this. Okay? This is the interior. So, we have our two lines, okay, or two rows of desks. So, here's one and here's one. The transversal is this one. Okay? The ones that are on the inside of those lines, this three, four, five, and six, those are interior angles. Okay, and the ones that are on the outside are going to be the exterior angles. Okay, so, and we've talked about interior and exterior before when we were talking about just a single angle. Okay, but on here we actually have eight angles in total and most of your pictures are going to look like this. Okay, you have to know what is the inside and what is the outside because you're going to see there's going to be vocab um, and it sounds more confusing, but if you know what's the inside and what's the outside, you can definitely eliminate it. Okay, so is three an inside or an outside it's an inside okay what about five okay five is going to be an inside angle okay what about one it's an outside or an exterior okay so you have to know the difference a transversal is the line that's going to cut between the two other lines okay Sorry. Okay, so there's lots of angles that are formed from that transversal, and I've already told you there's eight. Now, if we have more than one of those angles or um, more lines that cut through there, um, there could be a hundred, okay? But most of the ones you're going to work with, there's going to be eight. Okay, so alternate interior angles. Okay, so are non adjacent. What's adjacent mean? Side or that means they share the same side. So they have to be non-adjacent. They're not going to share a side. Um, interior angles that lie on opposite sides of the transversal. So what that means is we definitely know that they have to be inside, right? So the interior, we've already talked about, okay? The interior is going to be the inside. So it's got to be one of these. These are the ones that are inside of those two lines, okay? Alternate, what's alternate mean? win and okay so alternate means somebody fills in for the other person so alternate interior angles so we know it's got to be this one these ones are alternate okay they are on opposite sides okay they're both on the inside and they're opposites three and five are also going to be alternate interior angles I'm sorry. okay so interior and exterior eliminates it instead of having eight to work with you have four to work with okay same side interior angles. That means they're on the inside on the same side. Perfect. So 
We know it's gonna be these there on the inside. These are the interior. Okay, and I did not, I don't even know what I was writing. Okay, um, they're on the interior and we need same side interior angles. So four and five are same side interior angles. And then we also know that three and six are interior um, same side angles. Okay. Did I measure that right? Yeah, we're just going over some notes. Sorry, again. You're fine. Chill. Okay, corresponding angles. So corresponding angles are probably the hardest ones um, simply because there's so many of them, okay? But if you really look at the picture closely, you can kind of see what corresponding angles happens. So we have our two lines, right? What's the line that cuts through the two lines called? Transversal. The transversal, okay? So when we look at corresponding angles, um, it's like the angles that are in the same location but a different spot. Okay, so if we look at one and um, five right here, one and five, see how they are both on the top of those parallel lines of those two lines? Okay, that's kind of like if you look at your street, okay, if you live in a neighborhood and you have two streets that are back to back, if your house and then on the next street, right behind you is some of your friend's house, right? So your houses are kind of lined up, you're just on a different street, okay? There's also four and eight, Okay, so four and eight, these are both on the bottom of those lines, but they're also on the same side, okay? Um, and then three and seven go together. But they're two completely different numbers. Yeah, they are, okay? But they, they're just, it's kind of like matching them up in a sense, okay? And then um, two and six, okay? Two and six are corresponding angles. Jamie, quit. We're all trying to learn. Your negative attitude is not helping anybody do anything. Okay, alternate exterior angles. Okay, alternate exterior angles. So we know for sure that these ones and these ones are exterior. Would you agree? Yeah. Okay, so they're exterior and we need alternate ones, which means they can't be like right next to each other. Okay, so. If we look at um, one and seven are alternate exterior, what would be the other one? Huh? Two and eight. So two and eight are gonna be alternate exterior. They alternate, okay? And they're on the exterior of those transversals. Okay, so what is what is one of the words we've talked about? There's four types of angles we've talked about. What is one of them? Don't look. What is one of them? I thought you were listening. Alternate. Interior is one. Oh. What's another one? Exterior. Alternate exterior. Same side interior. There's another one. Starts with the C. Corresponding angles. So those are the the four. Okay, we have alternate interior means um, they're on the inside of those two parallel lines. Exterior means. They are on the outside of those two lines. Okay, what's the line that cuts through the two parallel lines? You gotta know. We have two parallel lines and there's a line that cuts through it. What's it called? It starts with the T. The transversal. Okay? You just, you gotta memorize it is the I know. Like There's no good like way to tell you other than that because so these pictures all kind of look alike, but the transversal is going to dictate where your stuff is at. So you have to know which line is the transversal. That's the picture. So like tomorrow, um, and if we look at this one, okay, what's the transversal? So we have M and N and R. Which line is going to be the transversal line?
So what line cuts through two lines? That's the transversal line. R. R. So R is going to be our transversal line. It's the line that cuts through both of these lines. And you can see it intersects N and it intersects M. Okay, that's our transversal. And let's see what the question is asking us. Which is a pair of alternate interior angles? So start here. Interior. Which angles are interior? Two, three, seven, and six. Okay. I have the number four. Okay, so we got two, three, seven, and six. Okay, which ones are going to be alternate? Five, four, nine, five. Huh? Nine, five. Nine, five. Is five an interior? Okay, so of two, three, seven, and six, what are going to be alternate? Two and six and three and seven. Two and six and three and seven. So we can say that two and six go together. Okay, and then three and seven go together. So what are our answer choices are going to be? So it's got to be C. Okay, so two and six and then three and seven. What is an exterior angle on there? What's an exterior one? We know all the interior ones, so what is one, one of the exteriors? Five. One and five, what's another one? Two and six. Four and eight, okay? So one and five, or one and five, four and eight, those are all the exterior angles, okay?